Hi, this is David Abanak Turtle with a quick review of a repurchase agreement or what's called a repo transaction. Now it's just a secured loan. So if we start here with the borrower, also called the buyer in the repo or the one who's doing the repo, then our borrower here is selling the collateral. So this could be a bond to the lender. The lender is also called the seller in the repo or the one who's doing the reverse repo. So the borrower selling the collateral to the lender in exchange for cash. So in my simple example, the collateral has a value of $100 here. And so our borrower is borrowing $100 against this collateral. And now here's the key thing. Our borrower is promising to repurchase or buy that collateral back in the near future, as soon as tomorrow probably. So if they're selling at a spot price here, they're really locking in a forward price tomorrow. And so if we skip forward one day, this is tomorrow, then our borrower here repurchases the collateral by paying the locked in forward price and effectively paying an interest rate to the lender. So it's a loan of cash, a short term overnight loan with the key feature being that our lender here, it's secured by collateral. So if our borrower defaults overnight, can't come up with the funds, then the lender at least has this collateral. They can go off and sell the collateral and recover their funds. And so you can see that the quality of the collateral is important to the lender. As of the first half of 2007, uh, the haircuts were pretty much 0% regardless of the type of quality, whether or not it was a corporate bond or asset-backed security or even a collateralized debt obligation. A 0% haircut means if the value of this collateral is 100, then our lender is giving the borrower $100 in cash. Now what happened roughly in August of 2007 and the second half of 2007 is the haircuts pretty much spiked across the board. And so for example, for asset backed securities, quite common for the haircut to jump from 0% to 20%. Now the collateral value, if it's still 100, with a 20% haircut, and we can think of this haircut as the initial margin required by the lender, on a 20% haircut for a value of 100, our lender is now only uh, buying this bond, really, for $80, or lending $80 cash on a collateral value of 100. So you can see how that 20% is a haircut, and that's because the lender, is less sure that they can go out and sell this collateral for $100, so they're charging the haircut. But now, our borrower, as of the second half of 2007, which tended to be a bank, instead of receiving 100 on all of these short-term overnight funds, is receiving $80 on the same collateral value. To the borrower, which tended to be a bank, these sh short-term funds are liabilities on the balance sheet. There are short-term funds that are financing the borrower's assets. And now, as the haircut goes up, these directly reduce the short-term funds on the bank's balance sheet. This end up, ended up requiring these banks to sell their assets, which put further downward pressure on prices. And this is what Gary Gorton has called a run on the shadow banking system that started here with lenders starting to become suddenly suspicious and wary of certain types of collateral that they were really worth what they thought they were worth or that anyone knew, and so they increased the haircut. So that's a summary of a repo, a repurchase agreement, repo transaction. This is David Harper, the Bonnock Turtle. Thanks for your time.